Hi everyone, you're here with Bravo playing Satisfactory. In this video I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on tips and tricks on how to make a circuit board factory. This one's using an alternate recipe. So in my recipe list here I have my copper sheet and I'm going to be using refineries. So it's three copper, three water to three copper sheet. And my silica it will be being made at a standard recipe and then the circuit board we're using also an alternate recipe which is um, this one here so it's using silica and rolled sheet so it's 11 silica 11 rolled sheet to five circuit boards okay let's jump straight into it okay so this is the base so far the circuit board factory it's out over here on the top left of the map what I'm going to do is turn the quartz straight into silica and I furnace the copper ore coming in and I've allowed 16 constructors here for the intake of crystal quartz the raw quartz and I've allowed eight, eight um, furnaces here for the copper ore. Now that's 240, so I have two copper nodes up here. They're both normal, so it's 120 each with a Mark II miner, just 240. But I've allowed another eight here, another eight, a slot, another uh, space here for another eight. Um, because if I get Mark III miners, I'm not sure, I could Google, but I haven't done it. If a Mark III miner gives you double, which means it'll be another 8, 240 to 480. Same as this, I've allowed another 16 constructors. That's way too much silica anyway, but I'm going to build a sink over here and feed that into the sink. Um, we've got a little space left over here, but that's alright, because I want to keep the base, like the factory, square. And I've started building the walls with the windows. What I'm going to do now is go put the miners down. And I have power here, so I'll just put the miners down, bring in the quartz, then I'll start looking at getting the copper. So let me go put the miners down, and I will be right back. And here we are back at the circuit board factory and I've connected up the belts so that's copper that's quartz coming in here with the furnaces going and the constructors going I finished the structure I've made it a bit wider over here just in case I want that area but I have a little small little concrete factory over here which I'm going to hook up now just run down and do that and then when I come back we'll look at putting our ramp to go upstairs At the moment the structure is just floating in mid-air, but now that I have the size I want, I'm going to go put these concrete pillars in.
Obviously you don't need these, the structures can float up there fine, but I like to, I don't know if any of us have watched my other videos, but I like to make it look like it's structural, so it's been held up there. And I love concrete, so I just put concrete everywhere. I want to run probably polished concrete everywhere. Um, but and then do glass flooring in the sections that are my walkways and I'll show you how I've laid it out in my base of course it goes straight through <laughs> uh. Where will it not? It'll be fine there, probably one in the middle too. Let's see if we can get up there with the jetpack. Awesome. Could have gone back a bit or moved that, but that's fine. I don't like it like that. It's not in line with that one over there, but it's not a big drama. But I will line it up. Line that one up with this one out here. one on the corner here just for that now I like to get a hand concrete hand like uh, basic walls here the little ones put them underneath the wall on the edge of the foundation just to close that up so now it looks a lot a lot more sleek doesn't have that weird gap on the bottom of the walls there And that's why I've set up concrete. <laughs> I was run up, grab some more out of that little factory I built there for concrete. Every sort of base I build, I build a little concrete factory. Because there's normally always limestone around and and you always need more concrete if you're doing your walls in concrete or if you're building it with iron um, steel walls. Like your basic basic walls here, using some concrete and steel you can set up a small ring for iron ore. But concrete's just easier. Limestone everywhere. Got a little bit to go, but that's alright. All this is full. Hmm. So I'm probably going to put my ramp over here to the right because I've made it a bit wider.
I'll put this first layer here in the corner. See how it goes. And um, uh, it's not going to work. Sorry, hold on. I like to go two up and then a platform back around. I used to do do it in a big circle, but so I'd go two like that because it's four high. Then I'd go two like that and two up like that. And it lands on the platform. Take these two out. There we go. Just like that. And I get. I like putting these um, metal walls in every now and again. Makes it just look. Sort of breaks it up, I guess. Like that. One here. There. Okay. Get my little half walls here in the blue. Done. Get a uh, four foundation, four meter foundation. Fill that gap there, and then under this one, I put a one meter foundation. And that sort of squares it right up. There we go. I kind of like it like that around that window. That's nice there. And then I think I have a window up on this platform here like that. Gorgeous. <laughs> Alright, so up here is going to be the refineries. Alright, so I usually work off having a walkway the whole way around. So I'd come in there in here, and I have that all the way around. Then I'll probably have uh, my refinery. Still need to get water up here, but I can do that. Um, so for the here it is here, the alternate, the steamed copper sheet, it's water and ingots. Okay, it's 22.5 per minute, requires 22.5 per minute. So I'm choosing to do the alternate over your, your assemblers. Okay, which is, I don't know, maybe, sorry, it's constructors. Okay, this copper sheet, so it's 20 per minute. 10 per minute, so it's 2 copper ingot to 1 sheet, where this with water it's 1 to 1, 3 copper ingot, 3 copper sheet, which is that's why I'm going to go with the refineries, but, so it's just water and copper, so I want to go probably a full a foundation from the wall to the refinery, so we go there, just come in a little bit off this edge, if you go hard on it, the ladder clips into this little wall. And then a full foundation off, so go to here, like that. Okay. The reason I got a full foundation here is because the pipe's actually going to come out when you put these in. They won't bend properly. So you could put your refineries up on a 1 meter foundation and it'll bend more square, but i just run these out a bit further and then let it sort of flex up and down like that and if you watch one of my episodes on satisfactory about my oil processing um, you'll see that I have that set up in my base and then over here it's just copper out so this could just be a um, merger so We have a bit of room, we might as well just do that. Okay. Now these are going to be split underneath. So I usually run one of these ones. Come in. So from where it's going in, it's one. So it's that one and then here. And when you put this on, make sure it's coming out, turn it, and it'll link up perfectly fine. Oh. <laughs> uh, we'll get it right eventually, right? There we go. Like that. 
Okay. Now doing the math. Alright, so downstairs we'll just go see how much copper we've got coming in and then I can work out how much water we need for pumps and we'll pump it over here. There's water. Here's the base here. There's a bit of water just over here, so I'll just run it up this hill and in. I don't, it won't take much, especially with a Mark II pump. We'll get here pretty quick. So as you can see, there's the inlets there, so I'll run all my belts on top. I think we've got 240. That's a normal. That's a normal, so that's 120, so 240. should have 8 here. 8. So it's 240 ingots a minute. And this is 22.5. So it's 240 divided by 22.5. 10.6, so I'll build 11 and then I'll underclock the last one. Or I could build 10 and overclock all of them. But I don't think I'm gonna. Oh, let's see if we have enough. That's what I want 11, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, <laughs> motors. <laughs> Alright, well what I'll do is I'll just pop it forward here guys and when I come back I'll have the refineries done and then I'll look at setting up the assemblers for the circuit boards. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So I've started on the roof up top. I have all the refineries set up and I have the water pipe coming in. Okay, so inside here, as you can see I have my splitters coming up for my copper ingots. I ran it the whole way down in case I want to add on more finer ah uh, more furnaces sorry smelters and then they come up across to this splitter okay run right along and I split off and I've organized it just so the splitter was just off the the um conveyor lift floor hole so I put the conveyor lift floor hole down and I put I'll do it just over here and I'll put a conveyor lift on there at the height I want as in up or down and then to find it I just go another conveyor lift down this end okay it could be anywhere along here it doesn't have to be anywhere special just enough distance to fit a splitter in make sure it's facing the right way I put a belt in and I put a splitter on that at if I just have a look on the right side here, the right conveyor lift, I'll, I'll go in just a bit. So about there, and then halfway along that little... It's hard to sort of explain that, that little um, like black extended piece off there. So see this black piece that comes off the belt goes in a little bit. Halfway's about good enough, so if you get your splitter out, you can see it just there, and then go halfway. Not all the way, because it'll be too much. About there. Then you can delete this, delete the belt out of there, delete that belt, delete this, you don't need any of this. Okay, and then you can put this on here. And there you go. Now that's hooked up. And then you can just run your belt out from this way, or out from this way, wherever you want, and that's lined up. So what I do is, I get the first one done, and then I just connect a, a, a belt up here, and I run it the whole way, all the way down the end. And then I go along and put my splitters on the belt in line with my floor holes. Okay, I stand on this side, and I'll just walk along the belt, snap it there, snap it there, and keep going right along. And then I'll go along and put these conveyor lifts in. Okay, connect to this water pipe up here. But that's not how I want to do it. So how I would do it is I'd run this as far as it can go, which is back until it turns yellow. So you, it's yellow here. 
yellow here, red there. So I cello here. It could be in between here. So I just put another floor hole here and see if that works. And this is just to join it. Sorry, it'll be a, um, yeah, the ceiling one. Gonna be in line with that. Yes. Okay, so I think this has to come down because I'm not going to be able to fit the junction in the pipe. If that makes sense. So I might just bring it down here. Can I not extend that? Can I turn it? Okay, well the other option is I uh, do the stacks. If you can't get it lined up. Um. <laughs> and I'm out of iron plate. Alright, <laughs> sorry. I'll show you the rest of the refineries and then I'll come back to that. So I'm just trying to hook up the pipes now. The iron ingots are connected. And I've got the outs. So here's all my refineries. I want to finish all the roof. I want to connect all these up to power. And over here, I have the ingots coming in. So these won't have any ingots in here because I haven't got the power connected. So I'll get on that. I like to leave the roof open like this. So it looks like the, um, the stacks there are going out through the roof. So any pollution coming out of there floats off out of the roof. I think that is a pretty cool little thing. And I might do steel beams in here to make it look all structural. Got glass here. And then around the perimeter I'm going to run polished concrete and then inside my factory areas it'll just be normal concrete. And if you've watched any of my other videos I like to run the polished concrete and it's mainly because downstairs so if you're downstairs and you've got pathways or walkways and they're not glass like that I'll have to turn these if you have polished concrete you can see it from the bottom and then you know that that's a pathway so let me just go get some iron I'll come back and I'll I'll fix all that up and show you guys that. Go right back. Okay, so I went ahead and just got some iron from a nearby deposit. Just enough to get this going. So I dropped it down. It was fire high as you can see here. I'm going to run this down and finish setting these up. So I want to run to this one. So I'll run it. Probably two off. It's in line with this. Two. Two, three, four, five. And I run the pipe down to this one. And I'll delete that last one off, connect that on, go up. Okay. And working back along, I'll just go and hook all these up. You can see the water flowing there. So I'm bringing in on a mark one line so it's 300 meters cubed and it should be enough because I worked out 11 refineries at 22.5 turned out to be uh, it was just under 300 it was on 247.5 so it 
There was our three extractors and then I underclocked them. So they're not using full power trying to supply all the water, I just underclocked them to just over 300. Just check that these all have water. Dies off to the end here a little bit. As long as I have water, that's okay. I can just put a pump on to make sure these are getting the water, adequate water. Alright, so I just want to hook up the power now. I'm going to put it on the sides of this using Mark II connections, and then I'll come through and fix all this roof up to finish off the episode once I've done the, the assemblers over here. Alright, so Mark IIs fit seven. So I can fit, I might just go with four, and then offside either side. So I'll line them up in between these ones. Out there. So that's one, two, three, four, one, two. Let's just go up on top here. Three. So I'll put this one, like this one. Connect them up. There we go, now I just gotta get them to main power. So I'll probably do a connection coming up from the main floor. Where I see where I'm coming up at. Probably down the back near the concrete. As you can see down here I've got these connections, I'm gonna bring it up. Here in the corner. Not a fan of that running across the window, so I might run it here. And then when I close that end off, it'll be hidden along the wall. And I'll run that down to there. There we go. Done. Should we all kicking off now? Okay. Awesome. So at the moment I'm making 22.5. I need to underclock this last one because I've only got 240. So it's 240 divided by 22.5. It's 10.66. So that last 11 is only making 60%. 
66%. So it's 22.5 times 0 0.66, 14.85. So I've underclocked this down to 14.85, or roughly around that. <laughs> there you go, 66%, 14.85. So it should be 22.5 times 10. Is 225 plus 14.85 is 239.85. So it's it's just off. So it's probably because it was 666, not six, just 66. So it could be we could go to 67, 67 percent, which is 1508. So it's making 0, 0.08 more than what I'm supplying, which is fine. It just means it'll this last, this last refinery is going to have to wait for a copper ingot, if that makes sense. So they'll all be stocked pretty good, except the last one, though, it might be slow by, you know, a second. It's not going to be the end of the world, so. And again, if it really upsets me when I get Mark III miners, I can put more furnaces on and then overclock all of these. But at the moment, I'm making roughly 240 per minute. So that means with the assemblers, I'm probably going to run the silica and the copper sheeting from this end. And then I'll probably run the circuits down back this way because I'm going to run a train station probably on the end of this. So let's have a look at the circuit board. 27.5 silica and 27.5 copper sheeting. So 240 divided by 27.5 equals 8.72. So I'll build nine of these plus whatever I overclock uh, or add on after that. So I'll just go nine from this end. So I usually give it an entire foundation. Because I'm running two belts in here, if I run like if I run this um, my splitters and that off the wall, I'll put that on my splitter. Okay, it's going to be this way. Okay, the distance here, I can then run. One of these, I'll line it up there with that. We we'll go one, two. It'll allow a ramp down. Okay. So I don't have to try and run any conveyor lifts and have it up too high. I can just run it at this height the whole way through. So let's go ahead and build. Last one's going to be underclocked. Control C, Control V. Just copy all the settings over rather than opening them up and selecting them individually. I just copy the settings by pressing Control C. And then I just go through and paste them all in. So now they're all set for the alternate recipe for circuit boards. Then what I do is I connect this uh, belt up. I work out where it is lengthwise, so this is going to be it here. Okay, so then what I'll do is get this out, I'll go up, and I'll connect this up. Now, you could just finish it, but I like to go back and then put the splitter on this end here, and then change this to 
a Mark III, and I want the Mark IV on the main line, bringing the ore in. Got that running way off. Sorry, I didn't line that up properly. What's here? Okay, it's on that. Sorry, my bad. There we go. Uh, split out here. Change that to a three. Sometimes I leave it um, and I miss it by coming back. So now I'll just run along and finish this off really quick. I'll probably go the whole way, like all the way to the end, just in case I wanted to overclock all my refineries and factories. That'll be one, and that'll be the bottom one. Like that. Okay. So now I can just run the bottom one, then run all my splitters. Okay. I'm going to have a splitter here. Damn, that's right on there, isn't it? Okay. I'm going to have to run this down to here. And put a splitter on it. And change this to a three. Run that three under there. The reason I changed to a three is because it is splitting off. I save and race my in um, encased industrial beams. So Mark IV uses encased industrial beams, and it's 480 per minute. And a Mark III is 270. So I'm splitting because I'm splitting off. I'll just go down to a Mark III because these aren't going to need. Like I only need 27.5 per minute, not 270. So that's why I'm splitting just to sort of save my resources there. So now we just go through, put all the splitters in. Probably going to run out of some iron, which I definitely will. That's right, I'll run down, grab it really quick. I have a lot of iron nodes over here, this side. So. I could set up, you know, something else like a rotor factory, probably, in here. You know, if I want to build more layers, uh, more levels on top, because or make it wider. Because um, if I'm going to train circuit boards from here, I might as well use all the resources in the area, such as all the iron nodes. So there's three over here, three normals. The quartz and over here there's two pures and two pure. Oh, I don't know what those are, sorry. I typed it on there. Look at that. There they are. And look at that, two more pures. So I have four pure nodes over here. And that, you know, I could make a lot of rotors or, you know, even just build engines and have a circuit board engine factory here because I, where are my engines motors sorry not engines motors but I could make the stators and I might have the alternate recipe yeah here it is look six six motors I just need to make crystal oscillators and I have the quartz here and the copper so I mean if my circuit board sort of 
back up. It depends how many I'm making. I have to just work out because I've sort of dedicated this entire base, this entire factory for it's just circuit boards, and I'm making. I will be making twelve and a half times nine. Minus a little bit because it wasn't. It's over a hundred. It's like hundred and twelve and a half a minute. That's a lot of circuit boards. That's awesome. So, plus this one will be undercooked a little, so it could be about a hundred per minute. But anyways, let's um, pick on all these splitters, getting these done. Awesome. Then merges. So I know that it's going to be there. I go. I got that one. Delete this one out. Just so otherwise, sometimes I forget that I want to delete that last one out, run it directly into the next splitter along, and I'll run all my belts and then have to delete the belts, delete the splitters, or merges, sorry. And if I just do it there and then, I know that the last two are finished, I just have to connect these main ones up. Okay, so I know that they're done. Now I could just do all of it in one go, but it means changing out my belts. So I'm just going to do all of these belts here and do the Mark IVs. Now I'm only making 112, so I could just run Mark III's the whole way. You know, and change the other ones coming out of the constructors to Mark IIs, but I just want to get them down as quick as possible. So I'll just run Mark 4s. I have plenty of industrial encased industrial beams, so yeah. Alright, so that's that. Now I just gotta hook up power and then get this um, set up underneath because I run all my a lot of my logistics underneath. Obviously the belts up here is fine. I'd like it being up with its factory, like it is. But when I'm transferring between like material between the factory layouts so this silica here I run all the way to the end okay and then I'll convey lift it up on the end and then across the, the underside of the flooring like I have um, you know over here okay so same as this side so the um, this convert this floor hole here is for uh, the the rolled copper rolled sheet okay so that from the refinery so that'll come down here across and across there and then back up and that's just to minimize material in my walkway up top so instead of going up and over you know I'll just go underneath so it'll go underneath the floor here so this walkway will be perfectly clear like so it'll go down here under the floor and then back up here and then down the bus for these factories and then I have this little wall go around designated them all and I've showed you that plenty of this all the t plenty of times in my other videos as well as uh, this one just to designate this area this is the this factory's layer you know and, and it helps me plan my other factories ahead so I can just 
work out how many I need of this per what resources I have coming in. Build all the wall in. Even if the factory is not fully finished, I've allowed this for that. And I have this space free at the back here. You know, or I could extend this all the way and then have extra refineries come in if I wanted to, like I have here with the assemblers. So anyway. So what I might do is I might pop it forward here, I'll get this roof all finished, get all my windows in and get this all finished up and constructing and and yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, and here we are with the resources finally going upstairs to my assemblers, which are producing the circuit boards. That belt there coming across the ceiling is is the uh, copper rolled sheet, and then I've got my silica here. So moving upstairs. Got my assemblers here and my refineries. Finished off the roof. Those are glass roof panels, and then over here it's nothing. But I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a second. I've put a steel beam, it's a painted beam here, running across the underside of that wall and that roof. Because at the moment it's sort of just that wall coming down and that roof pitched off that, and this isn't really, doesn't really look supported. So I thought I'd just throw a few beams in wherever I can and I don't know if I'll be able to just right on here. So I'm going to run it into these um, mergers. Okay. So... Hmm. I'm already keen on that, hey? <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh well. Guess it can just float like that. It's not too bad. It's just um, I don't know. There's nothing in the middle, but it all looks well built. It looks the ends are all finished off with that beam, and it's quite nice in here. But what I do is. normally like to sort of finish these off nicely with a wall no, it's not in the oh okay zoop that eh in that pipe, no? Perfect. Okay, so if I really wanted to, I could go along and, nah, see, it's going to clip into that pipe, stack, so I'll just leave it like this, I'm happy with that, like it makes it look like, like an actual factory, like the stacks come up out of the roof, but they're not clipping through the roof, you know, and then on this side, Look at the glass panelling here, 
If I wanted to, I could go and put windows in all here, but with the roof and that, it's enough. This must have been from the walls. Oh wow, went a bit higher than I thought. Must use straight walls there, not. Or when I zooped it up, maybe um, I went too high. No, see here I've got the ones. Oh, there we go. Okay, going out again. Here we go. Done. Just make sure that this side's done over here. Yep. Cool. Yep. Awesome. Finish off these windows and then I'll go have a look at production, so pretty happy outcome up. Okay. Done. I really like it. So here they are. I'm going to bring them into here like a buffer. So I'm not a big fan of using buffers, um, but because I'm going to be using a train to transport this over to my main base, I'm going to send it into storage here and then go into my train. So I'll just leave this for now, I'll end the episode here, and when I come back to my main uh, series in my playlist outpost bravo i'll go into the next episode which will be trains and this will filter okay thank you for watching this episode on my circuit board factory please like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any question if you have any questions please make them in the comments and i'll get back to you or rectify them in my future episodes thank you very much